Now, ladies and gentlemen, we mentioned our board member, Yuki Nishimura, and her background with an organization called the Northern California Cherry Blossom, uh, well, the festival that we have here, as well as the program, uh, the Queen and Court. Well, the program is a very important part of this community, and I think it often gets misunderstood. Come on up, guys, girls, ladies, folks, participants. It often gets misunderstood because way back in the day, it was called the Queen Pageant, right? That was old school. The system has evolved to be known as the Queen Program because of all the different aspects and facets of this job. They are elected, nominated first, then elected and chosen based on the community involvement and the ability to uh, bring forth traditions that we want to preserve and be representatives. They are ambassadors for this portion of California and in fact this portion of our background. So thank you ladies for being here. Uh, I'm going to first call on the court. They're going to introduce themselves individually and then we'll have a couple of questions for them. But please give a big round of applause for the Northern California Cherry Blossom Program Court. My name is Ashley Suzu Takamoto, and I'm delighted to stand here today as one of the members of the 2022 Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival um, program. Um, I'd like to thank my sponsor, the Japanese Chamber of Commerce of Northern California, for their continued support, and I really hope that you enjoy this day of soy. My name is Katie Akiko Drennan. I'm also one of the princesses in the 2022 Northern Cherry Blossom program. Um, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Kogura Company. They're located in San Jose's Japantown and sell traditional gifts and housewares. So if you like today's vendors and festivities, definitely check them out in San Jose's Japantown. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Michelle Chieko Catherine Heckert and I'm honored to be one of the princesses of the 2022 Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival. I'd like to thank my sponsor Nihon Machi Street Fair, which is a street fair uh, in August. So if you would like to come back to Japantown on August 6th and 7th, we would love to welcome you. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Sydney. I'm so excited to be a first person. Uh that was a pun. Do you hear that? Say it again, Sydney. I'm so excited to be a first princess that, on the You guys have to, you have to grow in when there's a pun and it's a good one. You have to grow it back. Try it one more time, Sydney. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm so excited oh. to be a first princess on the Northern California Cherry Blossom Court. I would love to thank my sponsor, the Japanese American Museum of San Jose, for helping me out and sponsoring me. I hope you guys have a great festival. I'm going to jump in right here. Uh, we also have, thank you, Sydney. Your parents will be proud. I know, I know Sydney's mom and her aunt and her grandparents from the San Jose and Mountain View. Uh, they represent a couple of, uh, Sydney and Katie, represent a couple of businesses down in San Jose's Japantown. So we do hope that you take a chance to come down the peninsula to San Jose as well and see uh, another representation and another iteration of how our traditions and our culture have uh, preserved themselves actually in the heart of what was once Chinatown, also uh, Pinoy Town, little Philippines, and then eventually settled after the war as San Jose's Japantown. So please come down here and visit the museum as well as the businesses like the Kogura Family Business and others down there. And of course, you're in San Francisco's Japan town, of course. I'd like to jump in now, I'm sorry, I cut off the queen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is 2022 Northern California Cherry Blossom Queen, Queen Stephanie Doy. Could you please introduce yourself first because I'm sure that you have more than two names. Everybody else does. I do, I do. Hello everyone, it's so great to be out here today. My name is Stephanie Nisa Doy and I am so honored to be Soy honored to be the 2022 Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival Queen. I would like to thank my sponsor, Takara Sake USA Incorporated, for their generosity and continued support of this program. It is really great to be out here today and to see so many familiar and even unfamiliar faces as well. And we look forward to talking with you all because today we are selling some raffle tickets. All right. <laughs> Tell us, uh, Stephanie, since you were here, 
selling raffle tickets, yes. They're selling them. It's a fundraiser for the GBA Foundation. And what can uh, the folks who purchase a donation, give a donation for the raffle tickets, what can they hope to possibly get? I think this grand prize is going to be a big, big, exciting thing for everyone. The round, it's two round trip tickets um, to Japan, hey. courtesy of Japan Airlines. So you are going to want to get your raffle tickets. We are all in pink and matching, so I think you'll be able to see us. Come find us and purchase raffle tickets, one for five dollars, or a whole, whole booklet for twenty dollars. So that's an even better discount. Um, and you can also get 50 tickets for $50 or 40 tickets for $100. And of course, all of this goes to support the Michi Bay Foundation. All right, well, thank you very much to all of you in the pink coffee Go Find them around here. Ask them about their raffle. But Stephanie, while I have you here, while I have you all here, this is definitely a unique opportunity. Uh, one that doesn't go widely known enough throughout our community. And so, um, Stephanie, I would love for you to tell us, first of all, for those not familiar, a little bit, just an elevator pitch, about what the program is and secondly um, this is a little different because we had two years of pandemic two years that Yuki had to hold that crown on her shoulders heavy are those or are strong are those shoulders that carry the mantle and uh, so can you tell us a little bit about how the experience has been in just I think three months we talked about right so asking about the program in a nutshell and then uh, also about your experience of course so Yuki did help hold the title for two whole years, and she did so much community service, so much involvement um, with our community. Now she's a board member of the NGBA Foundation. So that is just really the projection that we want for the FING program um, and its, its court members. We are in the community um, selling raffle tickets today, but we get to do a lot of community events. We're excited to attend a couple of the Obono Bazaars this summer. Um, we made our rounds at the Sakura and Cherry Blossom Festivals um, in the Northern California um, Bay Area to, uh, this past uh, these past two months. And we are very, very excited to go to uh, Los Angeles and visit our sister courts in August as well as our sister courts in Hawaii um, next March. So this program allows us to travel all over the place, but in that we get to meet the community members. You all um, usually volunteer and we get to <laughs> we get to raise a lot of new funds for community um, supporters like the Michigan Foundation. So this program has just meant so much to me and to my court members, especially because I get to have a whole sisterhood and our alumni sisterhood, including Yuki, um, who becomes just a a bigger part of my community. So this program is just so great. Outstanding. Well, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you for representing that. And thank you for pointing out that this relationship doesn't just happened this year. It continues. I've seen uh, past screens and program members continue that relationship and supporting the program. And in, in that cycle, it continues to support and reinforce the communities, the many communities that you touched around the world. So thank you very much. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our 2022 Northern California Chair of and make sure you find them in these peak topic code because they also have raffle, uh, raffle tickets for you to participate in today's raffle, including the grand prize of two round, round trip. We're not just sending you away, you have to come back. Round trip tickets on Japan Airlines. All right, thank you once again. Give it up for our queen and court. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. All right, now we have a, a little change from past events. For those of you who have, or even for you, especially I think for those of you who have not been to a soy and tofu festival before, I want you to know that we often have samplings, free foods, handouts, uh, foods being sold as well of all different sorts. We've had soy ice cream, we've had natto. Who likes natto? Let me describe it for those who don't know what natto is. It's a fermented soybeans, and when you look at it, they're really shiny, and it's in a little pile. And then when you pick up a, a bit, even one of the beans, there's this spiderweb-looking thing, and then it looks like there's a, a cocoon under the bottom of it, and it's, am I selling it well? 
Now, you have to know about it. Natto is actually fermented soybeans, and it's actually something that you can appreciate if it comes in the pristine form that you've seen it here as well. It's just one of the other ways that soy touches our lives with nutrition and culture, and it's, of course, soy sauce, soy milk, and many of the other iterations. So I encourage you to keep this on your radar for next year when we hope to have even more available to folks. But right now, we encourage you to support all of our vendors. And in fact, we do have one of our vendors, I think they're going to be available for a little bit of comment. We have our friends Maki Mino over there. Uh, they're a t-shirt shop, and the line was way down out of the concourse last time I saw them. And I believe we have one of the representatives from Maki Mino coming up. I'm going to give Maki a chance to come over here. Oh, there she is. Come on over, Maki. I saw you when you were this big last time. This pandemic has seen you grow. All right, well, why don't you, why don't you introduce yourself to folks, your first and last name, and then we'll ask you a couple questions. Hi, everyone. I'm Maki uh, from Maki Mino. Um, my last name is Maki Cam. Okay, this is Maki Cam, and you may notice that Maki is part of Maki Mina. So first of all, you're a t-shirt shop. She's got her tofuro, or tofuri? Tofuro, right? Instead of totoro, tofuro shirt. I actually have a shirt from your company. Look at that. I want you to notice, because you cannot get this shirt anymore. <laughs> That's how old it is. This shirt says, Strength in Tofu. The current version says curry warriors or curry tofu, something like that. So it's a little bit different. They haven't been out there, but they've been around for quite some time. Actually, your dad came up with the tofu festival, right? The logo? Yes, my dad created the logo for the Sewing Tofu Festival. All right, now, um, and yeah, big round of applause for that. People want those shirts. They're available over at the Soy and Tofu booth. Other shirts are available over at the Maki Mina booth. And tell us, you are half of Maki Mina. What's the other half? Tell us about the name. All right, so the name is actually a combination of me and my brother's names. Our nicknames that we go by at home. I'm Makiko and he's Minoru. But we usually call each other Maki and Mino at home. So usually at home we hear the phrase from our parents a lot, Maki Mino. Come over here, something like that. So. so for us, it's the name of a joyful, fun, celebratory t-shirt. And for you and your brother, it means you're in trouble. Okay, good. We like how we share family secrets here. All right, well, Maki, you want to tell us anything else about the shirts? Do you have any new shirts that you're bringing in the last? I haven't seen, uh, there, there's one with the, it looks like the Oaklandish logo. Let's just say it's a tribute to Oakland, right? Tell us about it. Um, so we do have our newest, our latest shirt is the Oakland um, Tofu Town. Yes, Tofu Town. Um, and that's, we haven't been able to pump out new designs just because of the pandemic and all of that. But that is our latest one, and you can find all of our designs in our booth right up the stairs to the right. All right, my, one of my other favorites is the Boba Fett Boba Tea. With the R2D2. All right, so it's very popular. Make sure you get over there and check out their booth. Uh, we just wanted to appreciate your father and your company's uh, support of the Soy and Tofu Fest from the beginning because of the logo that has become so popular. I don't know if your dad knew it was going to be, but when it did, that company got started and flourished, right? All right, well, thank you. You're our excellent spokesperson. Thank you. For uh, Maki Cam from Maki Mino, make sure you check that out over there, folks, and, uh, and do check that out. All right.